in the fan, but I hope the sound is good. Uh, what's up, YouTube? So today I got a new camera, so I hope I'm still getting used to the lighting, so there's going to be a little shadow. You can see my shadow from my hands, but I hope you can hear me good, and I'll test out the sound and all that later, but I, for this video, I'm going to be doing uh, the monthly favorite for, it's going to be for December and January. And also, I've been hesitant to make videos because I've been waiting for my camera to come in. So, and also, I am very sick right now. I have the flu, so that's why I don't really have makeup on. I just put a little something on. I didn't really want to contaminate my makeup, so I just put, barely put makeup on and barely use brushes and everything. And that's why you can't really see makeup around my nose or anything. But this is going to be the video. And I hope you can see everything good. So I got my list here of the makeup. I'm gonna start with makeup. I'm gonna start with primer. So my all-time favorite primer for the past two months have been the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't really like primers that are too oily or too lotion like so this is like a good primer it helps it last throughout the whole day and it's just an amazing uh, face primer and you can see I already use like as you can see it so that is the milk makeup or the milk it's by milk so that is the primer it's absolutely amazing I have to say for very dry skin this has been very good for me and for er, holding on foundation and makes your skin just look so smooth so that's what I've been loving for the past two months and also the other thing that I tried at first I didn't like it because it was really oil based but I d I tried it once because I was in a rush and I wanted to give it a try and I put my foundation over it and it just looks so flawless like my skin didn't look like it was um, had really makeup on it so this looks more like it make it looks like a more natural so this is the Tatcha luminous skinny uh, luminous dewy skin mist if you can see it yeah so that this has been I'm so glad I gave it a try because I tried it without foundation just to see how it feels on my skin and I didn't like it because it really was oily and I really don't like the oily feel I tried it with foundation I tried it with the Fenty foundation and the Born This Way foundation and it just made it look so smooth it didn't look like you have any pores or any creases at all so that was this was really amazing for a primer and so you could oh creating shadow I wanted to go on to these so these have been my go-to I've been loving sparkle for the past how many months now so first ones are the Stila liquid eyeshadow I've been usually mo usually mostly using the gold and also it's like a purpley with gold in it it is rocky rockin rose and golden eye and this one I wanted to try you could focus yeah I don't work on my lighting the lighting's pretty off that's the only thing that I've been trying to fix and then this one is bronze girl I always wanted to try that with like a smoky eye but these three have absolutely absolutely been amazing and created a lot of really pretty looks that I like and I just love sparkle and this one also has been my favorite this one I've been reaching for almost every time I do my makeup and it's also a liquid eyeshadow 
And this is the Tarte. The Tarte Sea Glass. And I want to do swatches with the new camera. So. But it's absolutely so pretty. That one I've been loving. Do a swatch. This one. Wasn't a good swatch, but it's alright. So it's been those two, and those have been pretty. And also, one of the other. Uh, eyeshadow it's not really liquid eyeshadow but this one but Charlotte Tilbury I also really love her as a person she's always so nice and her lines have been amazing I know I really like the champagne color it's this one on the side I don't know if you can see it. yeah it's that one those have absolutely been my favorite and go to uh, eyeshadow. So, those are the liquid eyeshadows I've been loving, and I'll go on to shadow eyeshadow. I usually always go for my Conspiracy by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, and also the Morphe Dare to Create palette that those two have been go my go-to one but I've been loving this one I got it in a boxy charm that was it will focus yeah and this is by Ace Beauty and they've been so pretty like these have been like my, my go-to colors especially for winter but this was the one I've been loving and I'm so glad that I got it. I was saying the other eyeshadow palette I've been loving is the Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette. Oh, for the past two months I've been trying. It's also been, uh, kind of give me the courage to try like different, um, colors. So that's been my go-to. The liquid lipsticks. Also, I got this is Boxy Charm. I've been absolutely loving the stuff in Boxy Charm for this month. So this is by Too Faced, the melted matte, and it also smells like vanilla. And it absolutely is such a beautiful color. I know. I really feel like it's been like a good color for fall. But that has been my go-to, and also these have been my go-to. These are by Sephora. I love their liquid lipstick. These are the two that I've been loving. It comes in a set, but I haven't really been using these other ones. But these two I've been using almost daily. So those have been my liquid lipsticks that I've been loving. Oh, and I forgot to show this one. There's also a red one. Yeah. And I should go on to setting spray. The one I've been using daily and all the time. And I also probably need to get new one because it's like wasting out. Is the Morphe setting spray. It's so nice. Like the smell of it and it just makes your skin look so smooth. Yeah. It's a Morphe setting spray. You can read it. It's absolutely amazing. This one I've been not really been reaching for, but also it's been like my second favorite. And it's a mini one. I like using the minis because makeup does expire and there's just like so much product already that are in them. And if if it's something that I go empty on right away, then I'll get a bigger size. So next things would be highlighters so my two favorite ones have been this Becca so that I've been using the most it's like a peat pinkish tone you see it 
it's so pretty. So that one I've been loving. This one is more of a gold one. This one has a pinkness to it. This one is more white. So that was that highlighter. So these have been my favorite go to highlighters. And also, I've been this liking this Too Faced. That was the second one. And Champagne Pop. It's, yeah, it's sort of champagne color. So, the other one, you could really see my nose. It's really, I'm really got the cold. So, the other one would be. The Too Faced, the one I got from the BoxyCharm one. And it's more of a sparkle than the other ones. There, you can see it's like the pinkest. So those have been my go-to highlighters. The one has to be this Fenty. I got a small one because it takes a while for like you to use up the bronzers. That's been that one. And then there's this shade, Shady Biz. I've been loving this one for blush. It's the Morphe blush palette. And it's got highlighter. So I've been loving that one. For mascara, for the past two months, I've been loving this one. And it's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's like the only closest thing that doesn't make my lashes go straight. But the only thing I don't like about this is really, you could smell the oil off of it and it's got really like a strong scent. But that's been my go-to, other than the Better Than Sex Mascara. You can really tell I'm sick, it's here in my throat. Cleansers, of course, I've been loving the Tatcha Deep. The Deep Cleanse by Tatcha. This one has a more clean scent. And also, I didn't think I'd love this one. It is very drying, but my skin has been used to dryness, so this has been one of them. This was in the Boxy Charm. The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser for all skin types. So that has been my go- and this one has like a really good smell. So that- those have been the cleansers I've been using. And also I also want to get like a bigger one of these, the Tatcha Water Cream. I like a moisturizer for my face that's not too thick. And I like this one because it's more water-like. Of course it's like the water cream. And it smells just like the the deep cleanse. Also, my favorite before I go to sleep. This is a watermelon glow sleeping mask. This has been my favorite for the past few weeks ever since I got it in the boxy charm. The smell is absolutely so nice. So those have been my go-to. And also my favorite thing that I got for a gift from my husband is this. It says Big Plans. It's a book. And it's absolutely empty because I'm still trying to figure out what to put in it. So I wrote down things that I should be planning. And especially when I got this camera, I'm going to be using it. I have this been this duo. I forgot to put this in. But this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow kit has been my go-to other than my Cabral one. But 
I hope you liked this video. This is the first time I'm recording on this camera and of course I need to work on the lighting so but I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.